Who, who's Peter? He's the guy who's done the painting, Peter Van Brugel. If we can introduce you to him while you're still here, I will, because he's a, he's a wonderful artist and uh, he's done all this work that you'll see in about time. So Peter had all the paintings at, the, at this station? He's painted, hand painted all the, most of the time he's painted on the side of the station, but then sometimes the, the, the material that he's painting on is just too old, so he'll do a painting at home on a board mm -hmm. and bring it down and pin it there to the station, to mm -hmm. the, underneath the station. Okay. Here is Warburton, beautiful day. After the rain, we come to the old train station to see the war paintings. And the paintings my friend Jeff mentioned in the afternoon by Peter, right? So, okay. Uh, it says, this section is a remnant, remnant. Left what's left. Uh -huh, uh, of the original bara, bare, bare concrete, concrete retaining, wall. retaining wall of the Warburton station platform. So it's what's left. The rest is, the building's gone. The building's gone? Yes. Yeah, so okay. The, mm -hmm. the elephant is buried down near the hotel. Apparently, there was the its elephant was here, oh. and it's buried, died, and it's buried near see the mountain, yes, Mount yes. Little Joe. Okay. Which you see here. So. I don't think that is Wow. Can you give uh, us a little information about this, uh, this, this artist? Peter Van Bruegel. Yes. He um, lives locally. I think he, his house is still here. He's, he, if, if you go to Bob's sometimes you might meet him. He's just sort of... Um, He's done a lot of a lot of murals in other places too, so he's just gradually been doing this. Mm -hmm. In Belgrave, there's murals there that he's done. Yeah. So they're done from historic photos. Up here at Dan. Did you go there when you last came here 30 years ago, Daniel? No, I don't think so. We I did not go, go. We could go for a drive out there. Okay. Not, not now, but we could go while you're still here. Reefton Hotel, you go past that, mm. out the east. Warburton Motors. Film Society. Yeah. Well, they've oh, okay. sponsored it. The old film projector mm -hmm. would have been in the Mechanics Hall opposite here. There's a mm. little booth. Mm. Um, it's a historic hall. There's Queen Elizabeth visited here in oh, okay. 1954. Mm -hmm. Up near the supermarket, there's a church next door. That's that, that church. Mm. <laughs> That's the river crew. And the one in the middle is our neighbour Ted, who mm -hmm. died about three years ago, who was in his 90s, and he was an amazing worker and storyteller. And he was always telling stories to Jeff about his grandfather. Mm. And Ted worked for the um, RACV, which is gets people out of being, when they're bogged or their car won't work. And Jeff's granddad had more call-outs in one year than anybody else, see? Mm. Ted. Ted. Mm. Yeah. It's more like nature. 
That's a, um, the aqueduct we told you about that runs along the mountain up here. Mm. The line of the mountain, right, it, we can walk up there. But no water anymore. There's no water in it water. anymore, yeah. The rail. So there were tram lo what they call tram lines, mm -hmm. up in the bush to, when they got the timber, to bring down to the town. Mm. And if we have a chance to see old photos, this used to be all tracks here you know, many mm. years ago. And all the timber come down in big yards and, uh, and the trains, okay. it, was, it was huge. Warburton Football Club. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1910 premiers, but they're still going. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Warburton House. A lot of guest houses have been here over the years. A lot of burnt. Been, yeah, a lot of burnt people now. came for holidays. Made out of wood. <coughs> Warburton is originally a holiday place. It has been very, very mm. popular for that, yeah. Because the sanitarium company used to be here, and the mm -hmm. hospital up on the hill there is closed for many years mm. now. People used to come and relax and rest and have you know, spa bars and things like Euro that. European um, yeah. health sort of um, treatments. Hmm. Massage, uh, steam bath. That's still there. They used to make, make the wheat picks. The That's still going? Cereal. Still, same yeah. population not, company. Oh, Past, that's the sign. Yeah, 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 the signs, yeah. that one. Publishing. And that's the hardware shop. Past that is supermarket, it'd be there. And we, that's the car park now, yeah, so that's still there. You'll notice if you go up there, the, the veranda around the top, but mm. that, no petrol pump there mm. anymore. There's the old mechanics hall, mm. as it was. The art centre is, is next to it now, mm. and it's been... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff yeah. talked about this. Mm. We, we've been there, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What, they want to turn it all down here, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they want to pull it off, pull it down, down, and uh, mm -hmm. yes. A group of local people uh, mm -hmm. worked for about 12 years to, to, to retain it. Mm. Fox Garage. Okay, these are just basically things uh, in Warburton. And that, when the train came along here, mm -hmm. it went up. Um, near that hardware shop mm. and it's still an area there where the, the train went on a device called a turntable and it turned the train around so it could come back the other way. So there it mm. is, there's the hardware, that's where we were before, the hardware shop and the back of the factory and there were railway lines across the road. So this is the railway station, as it was. Why this uh, train does not go anymore? Because not, not many people? Oh, well, who knows? Hmm. They started a bus line. Um, the house we live in was um, owned by Mr. Marta, who started the bus line. Hmm. and. Um, so the buses became more popular. Sometimes the train did start fires because of sparks, which so it's sort of not a. And that's it. Now it's a bike. It's a, a walking and bicycle track that goes to Lilydale. It's a shame that's not there, a bandstand. Mm, that was great. And that's um, just along here, a bit where the park is. And um, they had the fire brigade, they kept their equipment under there. Coffee Girls. Gain, the Gainsborough Cafe. And the Gainsborough building is still there. Still there. It's next door to where you bought the chicken the other night. Okay. <laughs> That's a great, that used to be a beautiful building. I love that. Gearish motors. Yeah, this 
just down there, it used to be just down there on this side of the, the highway behind you. But it's, it got knocked down too, which is a shame. So it brings a lot of memory to people, huh? Yeah, yeah. Could it be um, a very good uh, tourist attraction. That primary school's going down there, but the Benham's Road, and where you're going to try to leave. Yeah. Hotel. It's still there, the hotel down in Victoria. Opposite, opposite that is where the elephant is, was buried, apparently. That's the one we walked across, that one there. The swing bridge. Oh, okay. And then we walked along the river track, and I was saying this is the track that Ted used to... Maintain. Maintain and keep clean and tidy. The building is still there, there yeah. but the buses are moved elsewhere in the town. Chalet. That used to, that mm. burnt down. That was here at the foot of Mount Little Joe. So the grounds are still there. That's close to where Alistair lives. Yeah. Alistair lives that side. Yeah. The Harcourt coach. I don't know what the Harcourt that's coach the is. I wonder why it was called Harcourt. Bendigo oh, Bank. The Harcourt House. Okay. So that's more modern now. Because that used to be the Commonwealth Bank, and I lived at the top in the residence for a couple of years. So, mm. very nice residence. Nice thing. Then we go to the Orphan Bank. Marvellous walk garden. Yep, that's been restored. Um, that's in the at the moment. That uh, the group of people are trying to restore that. So who are those people? Yeah, so they're all historical um, people. He, the only one I know, I know, there's Mr. Martha who started the bus, mm -hmm. who built the house we live in for his daughter. Mm -hmm. Actually, and her husband, Harry Marshall. Mm -hmm. He's he's around. He had his 80th birthday a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he was the fire captain mm -hmm. for many years with the what's called the country fire brigade. Mm -hmm. And um, on that day, they had all his candles burning, and all the pages went off in the fire station because the present fire captain mm -hmm. Hazel, mm -hmm. the lady, mm -hmm. her house was on fire. So they all <laughs> had to leave Barry's party. So Mary Morton, you know, yeah. you knew the Mortons. Yeah. Yeah. They're both on the end. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Ian um, Delarue. There's two people who have died. Jesse James. Mm. He hasn't died. I can't see the names that well. Oh, Pat Malloy. Yeah. He, he was a policeman and he had, Jeff's got a record, he had a very good voice, he was singing voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Father um, Sereni, his Priest. father Sereni, he yeah. built a, a, um, a historic building, a circular building. Um, it was a school and um, yeah, we can show you that at some stage. Our friend Michael, who you're seeing on Sunday, he helped him
quite a bit. No, Ted helped him. Ted, Ted helped him. Ted, the one who did all the river, he helped him. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's talking about Gumley's land. He came here. Yeah. There's Jeff Yule's dad. Yeah. Anyway, if you come to Warburton, it's just behind the information center. It's very close to, to just 100 meter away from the from the town. Uh, should come here to see it, pay a visit, to pay a, a show your respect. Okay, please come here to see the Peter's paintings.